So the newest case from MacBag called the Elite. This special case has a lot of features we need to go over. Like the kickstand next to the camera bump, the grip on the back blade, the added side so the case feels grippier, the customizable buttons, the telescopic magnets, which will have a three times stronger hold and even a pinky cushion. <laughs> you guys know I'm a big fan of the original MacBag case. So I was very excited to see that they now have a new case. The Elite case is made out of that same MacBag material we're used to with the regular case, which is now called the Classic by the way. So that very soft material called thermoplastic rubber, which is still undefeated as far as I'm concerned. It's grippy, feels comfortable, and even though you will see a little more smudges on there, it's still easily cleaned. So for me, it's not an issue at all. So let's start out with the box itself. Doesn't it look awesome? I've never seen a box like this before for a case. Now inside of the box, we'll find the case itself, a screen protector and the magnet you get with your purchase. Now, the funny thing is you can use this box as the installer pretty much for this screen protector itself. So you just lay your phone in it like this, clean your phone, make sure there's no visible dust on there with the included alcohol wipe or dust sticker and then move this plastic tab to the other side so that it sticks out when the box is closed and pull the tab. You can then open the box again and then voila, it's done. Now there were still a few bubbles visible, which they say will disappear in a day or so. And of course I did test that since I was very skeptical and it was indeed gone after a day. Now on the inside of the case, it now features a felt inner, which is always good for avoiding those micro scratches. The case feels relatively strong, but since the classic mag bag doesn't have any open or movable parts, that one still feels the strongest. The Elite case has a lot of customization features. You can buy sets of different colors where you can swap out certain elements to make it have a completely different look. So for example, you can pop out the camera bump and click a new one back in. There's two sides to these, which you will have to line up in order for it to click back in. So the tiny part in the top right corner and the straight edge on the bottom left. That's easy enough. Then they also have a new color for that grip, which is also swapped easily too. Just remove the case from the phone and then it comes straight off. Since it's hooked by tiny parts at the inner of the case, which is then hold in place by the phone once the case is installed. So it will always be loose if it's not installed yet. So keep that in mind. It's not a bug, but a feature. <laughs> then to install a new pair, just lift the tab on the inner case and make sure they're hooked on each side. There's a long and a short side, so it should be pretty easy. The buttons are straightforward as well. Just push them out on the side and they will come right out. The USB-C and pinky cushion are swapped by pushing in on this part of the back plate. And then it's easily popped back in the same way. These grips on the side though, they are easily deinstalled by just popping one in and then grabbing the whole strip in one go. But when installing these, that's not as easy. You will have to push in every piece, which can be a little bit of a pain. But once they're installed, you're not swapping them every week anyway. And they're snug all right. So then if you're set with the new color you prefer, let's go over the features and what I think of them. Starting with the camera bump. Very easily installed and have a good safety click to them as well. And since they're also hold in place by the phone itself, it's not really going anywhere. I recently tested the ESR Cloud Series and where over there they required a little bit too much force, here I would like a little bit more strength to it. I've only noticed a couple of times that the camera bump came loose when I removed the case because then it's sort of bending the case too. But other than that, it worked out great so far. Then there's the USB-C plug and pinky cushion, which is just awesome. I really enjoyed this experience. You guys know I'm always talking about the comfort of a case into my reviews as well, since we end up supporting it a lot with that pinky finger. Here they thought of that and solved another problem at the same time. The plug also avoids dust and debris from getting into the USB-C port, 
while also acting as a cushion because it's really soft. The buttons are very clicky, which is always great. And that extra grip at the sides works wonders too. Really makes it much grippier. Even though on the original case, it was already great. With those black color grips though, you will have to clean it a little more regularly than with other colors. Since black silicone is just very susceptible to looking a little bit dirty. But then it also features a kickstand next to the camera bump, which works well when you want to watch a movie for example, but it's mostly designed for horizontal use and not so much for vertical use. It's got a little magnet to make sure it stays closed, but I would prefer stronger magnets here too, because it's pretty weak. At the end, when it's extended fully, there's a click to it to make sure you don't push it any further because it needs that too. Reminds me a lot of the kickstand on the tough armor from Spiegel, for if you've seen that already. Let's see how well it will do in my drop test video. They've dropped it themselves too, and you can see the kickstand taking a beating on that video as well, but it looks like it's fine still. We'll find out pretty soon. But then the telescopic magnets, this is just amazing. You know I love magnets, but this feature just brings that to a whole nother level. From the backplate, you can see that it has three big magnet slots. It has a lot more magnets which are hidden, but those are special because they extend when coming in contact with anything metal. And it really makes a difference. You can hear that, but you can also feel it because it's a lot harder to get it off your fridge, which is 100% a good thing. From this close up, you can also see those magnets in action. They did a fantastic job here. Now the finger loop also works great. It's pretty much doing exactly what I want from a MagSafe grip, but without having to carry one. And it frees up that MagSafe spot for me for something else. And because it still features those hidden MagBag magnets as well, you can use the top line of magnets to create a kickstand with your MagBag wallet or to hang it up somewhere with the included magnet. Last but not least, they also designed a gap between the case and the screen so that a screen protector fits exactly right. You won't see any gap with this case and the screen protector now, which is awesome. But it also means that if you don't use a screen protector, it will look a little odd in my opinion. So it's great for if you're already using a screen protector, but if you don't, it's noticeable that the front edge is made for that. Now, there is no negative aspect to that other than aesthetics, but it is something I did want to mention. So then, if we compare the two, the Elite and the Classic case, there's only a few differences. For starters, the camera bump is bigger on the Classic case now. The Classic case does not have a grip or a kickstand or USB-C plug, and neither does it have any of the side grips. You can get a grip and the kickstand functionality with a MagBag wallet though. The Classic features built-in magnets rather than telescopic magnets on the Elite, which are weaker, relatively speaking of course. The Elite also has cutouts for a strap for if you want that, which is something the Classic does not have. They both have the same body shape though, so as far as the feeling in the hand goes, these are pretty much identical. The Elite does have a considerably bigger USB-C cutout when comparing it to the Classic. And where the Elite is 50 grams or 1.67 ounces, the Classic is 47 grams or 1.66 ounces. So a very slight difference in weight, but a lot more features.